Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to convert HTML entities. Convert the characters ampersand, uh, less than, greater than, and then quotes, a double quote, with a with and the apostrophe and a string to their corresponding HTML entities. Remember to use read, search, ask if you get stuck. Try to pair a program, write your own code. Okay, so convert HTML, Dolce and Gabama should return Dolce amped with a semicolon, Gabbana. Okay, so right now, what's it doing? Well, let's say, let the result equal to that, and then we're gonna console.log the result so we can see what's happening. Right now, it's just returning that. Um, so what, what do we need to do? If we need to maybe iterate through the string and say if we see an and percent, then we write this amped here. Uh, the same thing, we have one to be able to um, identify these guys and this guy. Um, and then we want to convert HTML stuff in quotation marks. So here we're getting a string with quotation marks in it and we want to return that with uh, this uh, character and we want to do that. So uh, we sh this should return, this should just return nothing but these guys. Okay, so we're basically going to be doing a lot of uh, string manipulation. Um, so yeah, just like the last one, what we could do is do a function, like a, a function of um, convert character. And then we'll just pass in, um, so, and we're gonna be passing in a letter, right? And so what we can say is if the letter is equal to an ampersand, then we're going to return uh, ampersand stuff, at amp, we're gonna return this. Um, cool, and then else if uh, the letter is equal to a lowercase, we wanna return this guy. And now I'm just gonna copy this. Now we need to add to a greater than sign, right? And then the greater than sign is this guy. Uh -huh. And then what else? Less than, greater than. If it's a double, if it's a if it's a single quote, I think we got to do the, do it like this: an escape quote. Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe like that. Single quotes and then a, a double quote inside of it. That'll get us an apostrophe. Or a, no, no, that'll get us a, a double quote. And if we do a double quote, what do we want? Um, tr -tr -tr. Do we have it in our examples here? Oh yeah, in our quotation marks. So we want to replace it with this guy. And then what happens if we have the opposite of this, with a um, apostrophe, Schindler's List, oh, that's sad. We wanna pass in this guy. Okay, so now we have, we can be like, okay, so string, um, we wanna return the string. Well, we could iterate through the string, right? Um, now this function doesn't even need to be in here, so I'm just gonna take it out for now and put it up here because I think it's better to have it so that we can convert the character anywhere in this. Uh, this function will still be allowed to be used in here. So that's what we're gonna do. And now what can we do for the string? Well, we could iterate through it, right? Just, um, so go for, we're gonna let i equal zero. i is less than the string dot length. i plus equals one and where you've got an iteration happening. And if we go string at i, if we were to console.log that, we're iterating through each element of the string, right? So d, o, c, l, c. And now we can say, um, well, what are our characters that we wanna check for? Um, characters, to, so we wanna say, let characters to check for we're gonna make that equal to an array. And we can set this equal to, well, instead of doing an, yeah, we could do it, I'll do it this way. 
we can go uh, uh, ampersand like that instead of console logging here. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna call, I'm gonna get rid of that for now. We can do an ampersand uh, less than sign, a greater than sign, but um, that one, and then put the apostrophe in there as well. <clears throat> and now we have our characters in there. Um, cool. So now if we're console log at the string at position i, well, we could say, um, so here we're going through each one, and at one point, the ampersand is the one that we're selecting, right? And so if we did characters to check for dot index of string at position i, well, then we're going to see almost all of these don't need, require any editing. But here, here we have the ampersand, which is our initial one. So our value is not negative one. So now we can alter the uh, string based on that. Maybe not alter the string because that's going to change the global variable. But um, yeah, so for now, what we could do is we've, we know what position this is in, right? Um, I'm console logging it here. If we go I, we know that it's actually at uh, position six is where we want to change. So what we could do is say, if characters to check for, um, is uh, equal, is not equal to negative one, uh, we're gonna console.log the i. So here we're getting six, right? Because we're at position six. Um, so what we could do is console log the string dot slice from zero to index. That's gonna get us dolce. And my guess is a space as well. Yes, there's a space in there as well. And then what we could do is add in there our convert character. And we convert this. I'm going to pat, move this over so we have more space. And letter's not defined, but string at position I is. And now we've shifted this so that, is it supposed to be an ampersand? The ampersand, yeah, it has an ampersand to end it. Oh, okay, so we've got the amp in there. But then what we need to do is add the space and Gabbana at the end as well. Um, and so what we can do is, I'm, I, always, I kind of do these long string interpolate, interpolations uh, like this. And then we can add to it, um, oh no, we're still doing the console log. And then we can, we'll add to it the uh, string.slice, uh, I think i. And so string.slice at i gives us the rest of the results, right? So Dolce space and Gibbana, and then we tab in here. Oh, but we don't want this ampersand in there. So what do we do? i plus one. Cool. And now we've converted this. Um, but we don't want to do it in a console.log fashion, right? We just want to make, um, we want to save it as a variable, right? So our result is equal to, no, no, we, we can just, uh, how should I do it? Well, I mean, the way to do it simply would be to do string is equal to that and then get rid of this. Um, just to make this more explicit, I just want to show this all on one line. So I'm just interpolating the string all together. And so now that we've set string equal to there, um, we can run the test and see if they pass. Okay, everything, everything passed. Um, why is that? Because we're using this exterior convert character string. And so that if we pass in anything, like for example, uh, stuff in quotation marks, then <clears throat> this converts, we pass in, um, if we were to console.log the string at position i, uh, you can see that it's, it's passing in these um, quotation marks. So the quote, the, we could actually extract this. So we could say let uh, symbol to convert is equal to the string at that position. And then we could pass the symbol to convert in here. That might make the code a little bit more, pers more uh, might make the code a little easier to read. 
sometimes I like to um, do string interpolation like this. And so, yeah, and now we're, we've converted this so that it's got this. The, and in, in HTML, you can, uh, you'll see a lot of like WordPress websites and things like that use this in the back end uh, to show those symbols. Um, so, yeah, I think that's good to go. Um, String.length, characters to check for. Return this guy. Usually I keep the, I like to do my spacing like this. Um, yeah, we could just extract this into its own separate function of like adjust the string. But uh, I don't know that that's necessary. I think that this, um, we convert the HTML we're bypassing in strings. We convert characters by passing them into here. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. We run the test and they pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson.